Check, 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 check audio. Let's check audio. Hello, hello. Do you hear me nice and clear? Do you hear me nice and clear, people? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I have a flu. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, that's not good. That's no good. Okay, having the flow is not easy, right? Because... I only hear the class teacher. I not participate. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about it. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for letting me know. Yes. Uh, yeah, some people are getting sick, right? With this flu. Yes. Yeah. I'm sick. That's very that's very common nowadays. Like I, I heard some people getting that that uh, thing. That's not good. Yeah. Okay, just give me a minute while I get your attendance. And so I can get up um let's say the information. Give me a minute. It's raining right in some places, which is nice. You meet and maybe we can have a good night uh, because of the rain. Um, Yes, in this moment it's rain. <laughs> yes, that is true. That is true. <laughs> yes. You can have a lemon, right? So you can drink lemon with water. That will help you a little. Yes. Um, but that's, that's what I get. Whenever I'm I sick. Take some, I take some medicine for, oh. for the flu. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What are the symptoms that you have? Um, it, uh, so toad, mm -hmm. uh, the headache, and the nasal, how do you say, for the question nasal? Oh, con oh uh, congestion, nasal congestion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about it, okay? And I hope that you can get uh, better as soon as possible. Yeah. Let's begin with the content that we have for today. <gasps> Jesus. Give me a minute, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? You good? Bye, sir. Oh, that sounds great, right? Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. Okay. Where were you born? That is that is um the section number five. We're gonna work on this one. Okay. So uh thank you so much for being here. And we're gonna work a little bit of uh, this thing that is called the simple pass. Okay. We're gonna work with this one. Yes, here we go. Let me show you. Where were you born? That is the section number five. We're going to work today. As you may know, this week is our last week of this module, right? So my recommendation, please work with, um, let's say, the content that you have available over there and uh, finish the, all the assignments that are in the module so you don't get, um, let's say, I I finished the platform. Oh, that's wonderful, Melanie. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I love it. That's fantastic. Okay. We're going to start with this conversation, people. I think we did it <laughs> yesterday. Oh, Jesus. Give me a minute. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. There was something wrong here. Because this one, we did it yesterday. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me know because sometimes uh, I forget. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm sorry. We're gonna work. This is the this is the re oh Jesus. Sorry. I need to... Okay. This one is my right? statements with the past of B. Statements with the past of B. Where were you born? Yes, this is the real one. I'm sorry. Okay. Sometimes. It happens like this one. Yes, it happens like this. Okay, thank you so much. We're going to start with this uh, class 
So we're going to work statements with the past tense of the verb to be. The first thing we're going to work is this conversation. Look at this one. I was born in Brazil. Do you understand the sentence? I was born in Brazil. This is the sentence, right? When it comes to communicate, where were you born? Yes, so I want you to listen the conversation so then we can practice. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. I was born in Brazil. Listen and practice. Bianca, that's a nice name. Where were you born? I was born in Brazil. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Your English is really good. Thanks. I studied English for many years. Did you study English in Brazil? Yeah, I started when I was seven. You were pretty young. Yes, I went to a bilingual school. I had classes in English and in Portuguese. You were lucky to learn another language so well. Do you speak a second language too? Well, I speak a little Italian. My parents were born in Milan. That's a good conversation. One more time, okay? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. I was born in Brazil. Listen and practice. Bianca, that's a nice name. Where were you born? I was born in Brazil. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Your English is really good. Thanks. I studied English for many years. Did you study English in Brazil? Yeah, I started when I was seven. You were pretty young. Yes, I went to a bilingual school. I had classes in English and in Portuguese. You were lucky to learn another language so well. Do you speak a second language too? Well, I speak a little Italian. My parents were born in Milan. Thank you so much. Now, let's check. First of all, let's take a look at the picture, okay? Let's work with the picture first, with this one, right? Blanca, can you describe the picture, please? What do you see? Blanca Esmeralda. Tell me, what, what do you see in this picture here? The picture is a cook. Yeah, the eye. Okay, thank you. The eye, the, the side. Thank you. Okay, Blanca, what, what is this object here? What is the name of this object? Scissors. Oh, yes, we have scissors, right? Scissors, very good. And what is the name of these objects here? This one. Every day in the morning, when we like want to like get dressed or get ready for work, we used to uh, do this one. We check ourselves a here in this. A mirror. A, a mirror, yes, exactly. We have a mirror. What is this job? What is the name of this job? What is the name of this job that this person performs? Excuse me. Uh huh. What is what is the name of this job? Job. Hairdresser teacher. Oh, hairdresser. Very good. Hairdresser. That is correct. We have a hairdresser here. Okay. We have a conversation between Mario and Bianca. I need you to save say the conversation in. Tell me, please, uh, Julio, what is this conversation about? Uh, 
Hello, Julio. Tell me, what is this conversation about? Thank you. Yes, it, you look, your mic doesn't work, Julio. I don't, I don't hear you. I'm sorry. Yes, it looks like there is an inconvenience with your mic because I don't, I don't hear your voice. Yes. Okay. Miguel, hello, Miguel. Good evening. Thank you. Please tell me, what is this conversation about? La digo, toda. Uh, no, tell me, what is this conversation about in general? In general, what is this thing about? Um, se están conociendo una plática de... Okay, so they are like... Están conociendo entre sí. Okay, now we need to go ¿Cómo se llaman? Okay, very good, very good. Um, and where, where is Bianca from? Where is Bianca from? Is, is Bianca from El Salvador? She's from Brazil. Oh, she's Brazil. from Brazil, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. And what about Mario? Where is Mario from? Mm -hmm. The United States. Uh huh. Where is Mario? He's from the U.S. Oh, he's from the U.S. From the U.S. Okay. Oh, oh no. And the... no. He's from Italy, maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe from because Italy. his parents were born. Okay, but he's telling like my parents were born in Milan, so that means Italy, right? But that's about his parents, <laughs> not about him. Yes. Que tal vez cuando 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 practicamos yo no puedo practicar. Te lo voy a llevar. Okay, so uh, just be careful with that one. Just be careful with that one. Okay, uh, very good. What is this conversation to take in? Okay. What, is, what is the name of this place where these two people are talking? Hi, Joshua. Excuse me? Hmm? What is the name of the place we have here? Any idea? How do you call a place where you can go and you can have a a hairstyle? We have say mm -hmm. the English or the United States. Uh, no, I'm talking about the place. Is that a bakery? Is that a coffee shop? Is that oh. a, I don't know a bank? Is that a barber Tell shop? Me. Is that barbershop. a beauty salon? It's a barbershop. No, salon. It's a salon. It, it, it is a beauty salon, right? It is a beauty salon. Very good. Yes, it is a beauty salon, probably. Okay. Very good. How many languages Bianca speak? How many languages Bianca speak? Uh, two languages. Okay. What are those? What are those? Uh, English and Brazil. And English, English, English and Portuguese. And Portuguese. Portuguese. Very good. Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay, very good. Now, please save the conversation because I will open the radio room so you can practice with your partner the conversation. Remember that you can switch. So that means that you switch roles. Once you finish the first time, you switch roles so you can do it again. Okay? So I will open the weekend room so you can join and you can practice this conversation with your partner. Okay, I will open the breaker rooms with three and four. Okay, here we go. In the main room, I'm going to have Ana Le I'm sorry, Ana and Leticia Garcia, Milagro Granados, Juan Carlos Lopez, and Nubia. You stay here in the main room. 
in the main room, okay? Ustedes se quedan acá, right? No se unen, no se unen, don't join, okay? The rest of you, yes, please. Join the breakout room so you can practice with your phone. Yes? One more time. In the main room, uh, Ana de Leticia Garcia, Milagro Granados, Juan Carlos Lopez, and Nubia Ramirez. The rest of you, please, do me a favor and join the breakout room so you can practice. Okay? Hmm? Thank you, Cristina, Elizabeth, Granada, Sarai. In Julio, Jorge, please join. Rosa, you need to join Rosa. Jessica and Yolanda, please join Yolanda. Okay, Isabel, Suniga, you need to join. Jo okay, very good, very good. Uh, Julio and Jorge, please, you need to join. Okay, so Anna, Juan, and Nubia, this is time for you to practice. I will uh, turn off my mic so you can practice here in the main room. Ready? Okay. Yo y Nubia y yo, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, that is correct. Bye. No okay. sé si vas a iniciar tú, Nubia. Good. Eh, Bianca, that's Nishne. Where, when you were born? I was born in Brazil. Oh, so you were born in the US. You're in English and really good. Thank you, I studied English for many years. Did you study English in Brazil? Yeah, I started when I was seven. You were ready and young. Yes, I went to bilingual school. I had classes in English and the Portuguese. You were looking to learn another language too well. Do you speak a second language too? Only? Well, is speaking. Um, well, is speaking a little Italian. My parents were born in Milan. Hi, teacher. No, no listen. Okay, now you, Juan, and, and Nubia, please. Thank you. Okay. Excuse me, Juan, your mic is just off. Bianca, that's a nice, a nice name. Where were you born? Nubia, you're next, Nubia. You're Bianca, Nubia. You're Bianca. I, I was born in Brazil. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA. US, and your English is really good. Thank you. I am studying English for many years. <laughs> Did you study English in Brazil? Yeah, I studied when I was seven. You, you were, you were pretty young. Yes, I been to bilingual school. I have class English and in Portuguese. 
you were lucky to learn another language so well. Do you speak in the second language too? Well, I speak a little Italian. My parents were, were born in Milan. Wow, thank you. Thank you, very good. Milagro, Milagro Rodriguez. Hello. Thank Lo siento, you. pero aquí está lloviendo y quizás eso me está afectando porque me sacó ya dos veces. Oh, no, I understand, I understand. Dice, me you. quiero quedar la pantalla así porque tengo mala conexión ahorita y también andan unos gatos allá arriba. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Okay, can you practice with yeah. one, please? Uh, one, you're going to be Bianca and uh, Milagro, you're going to be Mario. Ready? Sí. Please. Yes, okay. Milagro, you begin. You are Mario. Yo, Mario. Yes. Yo, Mario. Okay. Uh, Bianca, that's a nice name. Where, where were you born? Uh, Juan, thank you. I was born in Brazil. Oh, so you, so you weren't born in the USA. Your English is really good. Thanks. I studied, I studied English for many years. Did you study English in Brazil? Yeah, I started when I was seven. You were very young. Yes, I went to a bilingual school. I had class in English and in Portuguese. You name Lucky to learn another language so well. Do you speak second language too? Well, I speak a little Italian. My, pa my parents were born in Milan. Thank you so much. That was very good. I just want to get the rest of your classmates here so I can play the audio one more time. So you can listen and recheck a little bit of pronunciation. Here we go. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. I was born in Brazil. Listen and practice. Bianca, that's a nice name. Where were you born? I was born in Brazil. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Your English is really good. Thanks. I studied English for many years. Did you study English in Brazil? Yeah, I started when I was seven. You were pretty young. Yes, I went to a bilingual school. I had classes in English and in Portuguese. You were lucky to learn another language so well. Do you speak a second language too? Well, I speak a little Italian. My parents were born in Milan. Thank you so much. Well, this conversation, as you may notice, is started with the past tense, right? Where were you born? So that thing is related to past. And then at the end, we have a little bit of the present. Yeah, so it's like a, a combination. We started everything with the past. And somehow at the end, we ended up speaking or, or talking about um, the present, right? So this is the way you can use this in, that in a conversation, right? Uh, don't forget that pronunciation we have studied, we have also started, we have where, we have went, had. So we have these different verbs, irregulars and irregulars, and also we have the verb to be, that is special thing. No se olvide this thing that is called verb to be, because it's not a piece of cake. A verb to be, De todos los verbos, I think, es el más difícil. Yes. 
because it's everywhere and tiene diferentes rules, right? It is a very big, it's big. So it is bigger than the other ones. So uh, be careful with the word to be. Uh, what Page 100. We oh, we have a video, but before I do that, I would like to take the attendance. Voy a tomar la attendance, la asistencia. So when you hear your name, say please send around here. Um, Aleida Garcia. Aleida Thank Garcia. you, Fisher. Thank Good you, evening. Aleida. Good evening. Alicia Perez. Alicia Perez. No, she isn't. Ana Cristina Ostorio Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Elena. Oh, Jesus. Ana Leticia Garcia. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And I'm sorry. Okay. I mispronounced your name. Elizabeth Campos Romero. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Welcome. Nice to have you. Blanca Mendoza. Thank you, Blanca. Christian Romero. I think you told me here in the chat, right, Christian? Uh, where is Christian? Oh. Oh, no, he's not here. I think he had yeah. some problems with his internet connection. No, he is in Sorry. Okay, what about uh, Maricela Perez? Present teacher. Thank you and welcome, Milagro Granados. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Isabel Zuniga. Present teacher. Thank you, Isabel Ernesto Arias. Present teacher, present. And gentlemen, good evening, nice to have you. Fatima Hernandez. Fatima, no, she isn't. Jessica Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening, Jessica. Jessica Serrano, that's Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Y Juan Carlos Lopez Linares. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Julio Zeta. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio. Welcome. Nice to have you. Miguel. Hello, gentlemen. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Nubia Daisy de Ramirez de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you, Nubia. Good evening. Rosa Salazar de Fabian. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Eunice Ruiz. Eunice Ruiz. Thank you. Eh, Jennifer Flores. Jennifer Flores. No. And um, Yolanda Andrade. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Let me check the chat really quick if, if someone sent me a message. Okay. So let's get back to the presentation. I have a video for you which is related to the grammar point that we have for this class. I want you to take a look at this one. Check it out. Say no if you want to. And this is about... Give me a minute. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of B. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. 
I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the U.S. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the U.S. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement in the U.S. in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so what is the verb? What is the verb we are talking about? What? What is the verb here? What's the word? Like, exactly. The verb be, right? The verb be. So if you remember the verb be in present, we have, as you may know, um, you know, so this is the word to be in present, right? Right here in the top. Yes, but this is the past tense of that one, right? So, if you see, I was born here. You were, she was, you were, they were, okay? So, this is the past tense of the verb to be.
This is the negative, affirmative, negative. In here, we have the interrogative, yes? So for example, it's like here I have like, this is the past tense, yes? Negative and questions, okay? Remember, when do we use the verb to be? What is the meaning, right? Ser o estar. That is the meaning of this word to be. Now, just take a look of this one, but in the past. Yes? El mismo significado, el mismo use, but en el pasado. Yes? Everything in past tense. Right? So, that means the question, were you in class yesterday? Was your first teacher American? Were your parents or in U.S.? Yes, so the context we're talking here is about the past tense. It's about the past tense. Here we have the abbreviations as well. Weren't means were not. Wasn't we have was not. Okay, so again, I told you, I told you, like at the beginning of, of this class, like be careful with the verb to be. Be careful with that thing because that thing are like, um, it doesn't have like a long thing to deal with. Okay. We're going to have some practice. Here we go. Look at the pictures, right? Where were these people at three o'clock yesterday afternoon? So here we have these people, right? Gary, Jack, and Kate, Sue. Mr. and Mrs. Hall, and then here we have Ben, okay? Let's describe picture number one. Thank you so much. Milagro, tell me, what do you see in picture number one? What do you see? What do you see in picture number one? Mm -hmm. Puede participar? Yes. Yes. Tell me the vocabulary. ¿Qué es esto? Right? Look at this one. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, face. Milagro. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. Milagro Granados. I'm sorry. Milagro Granados. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. But who is this? It is a boy or a girl? Boy. A boy, right? What is the name of this object? What is the name of this object? Don't understand the meaning of this person. What is the name? Bell. It is a bell. What is the name of this object here? Three of, three of the club. No, but the object. What is the name of the object? Yes. Ah, um, clock. Clock. It is a clock. Very good. ¿Cómo decimos almohada en el? How do we say almohada in English? Uh, almohada. Pilo. Pilo, very good. Ahora, colcha. Colcha o la chapina, right? How do we say that? <laughs> How do we say that in English? Yes? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Rosa? No, la colcha, no oh, Blanket, right? We have a blanket. Very good. Very good. Teacher? Blanket, blanket. This one is a blanket, una colcha, right? Or sábana. Sábana, sábana, sheet. Or also, that one, like that, but usually we call it blanket. Okay, so you can say blanket. That's blanket. It. Very um, good. Rosa Maria, picture number two. What do you see in picture number two? Um, uh, clock. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Window. Window. Okay. Okay. Um, people. People. Exactly. Right. Thank you so much. Um, Nubia, picture number three. Tell me, what do you see? A clock. Did a she? Train. A girl. Very good. House. A train. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is a house or a, a place? Station. <laughs> Exactly, train station. Very good. Train. <laughs> yes, we have a train station over there. Isabel, picture number four. Describe what do you see, please? 
Isabel Zuniga, please describe picture number four. This call, they are in a restaurant. Thank you. Tell me the objects that you see in that restaurant. Uh, a table, chairs. Just, just one or two. Um, two tables. Perfect. Yes. How many people do you see in the picture? Uh -huh. uh, wait. Five people. Uh huh. Carry on. And a waiter. Is a waitress or a waiter? A waiter. Okay, you're very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. And in the picture in number five, that is for you, Ernesto. Please, picture number five. What do you see there? We... It is a song. A uh, song. Uh, it is a uh, ship. It is a. Uh, and I remember some Brian in English teacher. Oh, remember Rihanna the song? Yeah. It's umbrella. Exactly. It's umbrella. Oh, okay. Thanks. Umbrella. It is a chair. <laughs> uh, there, it is a uh, one man. With glasses. Mm -hmm. how, how does he look like? Is he happy or sad? <laughs> he is relaxed. He's relaxed. He's so relaxed. relaxed. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hasta lo envidio. Right. Yes, exactly, right? That's true. That's true, right? So we're going to use the verb to be, but in past, to talk about these pictures. For example, Gary was in bed. What about Jack and Kate? What is the verb to be with Jack and Kate? Hmm? Where? Okay. Where? Where? Now, look at the picture. Y dígame donde, right? Where? In the movie. In the movie. Okay. In the movie. Movie. Theater. Okay. I'm sorry. Theater. Remember if I'm wrong. Yes. <laughs> movie theater. Yes. Movie theater. Okay. Theater. Okay. Theater. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What about the number? What about the number three? Wait. Oh, wait. What? Who was in the train station? Mega Dolon, Was travel? Was by a train. By the train station. Thank you. At the train station, very good. What about the number four? They, they, they. Oh, very good. They were, they were, they were in a restaurant. Dinner. They, they were in a restaurant. Very good. Very good. What about the number five? Papai. He, 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 he was relaxed in the beach. Relaxed at the beach. Very good. At the beach. He was at the beach. At the beach. Mm -hmm. And what about the number six? And you? you? Where and were you yesterday? You. I, I was relaxed in my home. <laughs> I, I was. I was. To in, sleep in, in the class. Okay. In the class. So I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> in bed, maybe. In I was at home. Yes. Very good. <laughs> yes. 
So this is the way we, we work with this, right? We communicate things in past tense. We use was and where. Where is for with plural. And also was is with singular. Right. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Let's take a look at the next example. Okay. We're going to the present of verb to be or the past tense of the verb to be. So here is the difficult part because we need to identify when is the present they, and they. past. For example, last year she was 22. So she is 23 now. Yes, right now she is 23. What about the number two? What is the correct answer? El año pasado tenía 22. Y ella tiene 13. Yes, exactly. Very good. Now we have number two. Today, the weather. Present or past? It's nice. The weather today nice. is very bad. It's very bad. Yes. It's nice. But yesterday, but yesterday, but yesterday is it's it was very cold. Very good, Ernesto. Was right. So we're playing one more time with present and the past. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number three. I was. Uh, where I was uh, home. Up. No. I am hungry. I am. I am. Exactly. I am hungry. I am hungry. hungry right? Hungry. Yes, I am hungry. Okay. Can I have something to eat? Can I have something? Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, so you you say really this is pressure. Yes. When you get to the house, you can say, I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? Yeah. So, you get some food, right? I feel fine. It's morning, but. But I am. I was. I very tired. I am. I was very tired I'm last night. Yes. I was. Why was? Because of the context. Last night. So it's the past, right? Very good. Number five. Where? Where? Where do? Where are you? Where? 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 Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? At eleven o'clock last Friday morning. Right. Don't buy those shoes. They are very expensive. Don't buy those shoes. They are expensive. We're going to wear with present, right? Let's start it in the chair. Hey, don't buy those shoes. Those are very expensive. Yeah. So don't buy them. What about the number seven? I like your new jacket. New jacket. Yes. No. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's expensive. It's expensive. Very good. This time this last time, year, I was. I was I in was. Paris. I was in Paris. Very good. Was in Paris. Right now, you are here in class. Right. Sorry. Sorry for you. Well, yes. Where, where are the children? Very present. Where are the children? I don't know. They. They. Where? Where? They were. They were. They were. So this is the way we use this uh, verb, right? We combine them together so we can talk about different things, right? Uh, I will request one of you to read this one. Are you the man? Nubia, read the sentences, please. Thank you. Um, why am is our present or was very past? Last year she was 22. 
So she is 23 now. Today the weather is nice, but yesterday it was very good. I am hungry. Can, can I have something to eat? I feel fine in the morning, but I was very tired last night. Where were you at? Um, 12, 22 <laughs> o'clock last Friday morning. Don't buy those too. They are very expensive. I like your new jack jacket. It's, it's expensive. This time last year, I was in Paris. Where are in the children? I don't know they were hard five minutes ago. Minutes ago. Here, very good, very good. Rosa, uh, uh, thank you, Rosa. How, what is the number here? Say this number, please. Eh, que lo repita? Just the number, just the number. Just. Yeah. Just the number, this one. Ah, yeah. Este, 11. Very okay. good. Okay, Nubia? Thank you. Very good. No, re yes. no remember. <laughs> ah, yes, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. You did it, you did it. I'll say it correctly. Very good, okay? So, this is the way we do it. It looks, it looks easy, right? But that's not the case. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. So, okay. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, today is class number number thirteen. Yes. That is the class, it's class number 13. Then we have tomorrow 14, then 15 and on Friday 16, yes. I'm sorry, because at the beginning I told you that the class is number 12, but it's not number 12, it's number 13. So I missed the number, okay, on that one, I'm sorry. We're gonna have this exercise here, if you see, we have sun expressions on the top. I was 16, no, I wasn't, I was born in Europe, we came here for uh, my father's job. I was born in Brussels. No, it wasn't. I loved it. No, I'm from Belgium. We moved here in 2000 now. Yes, they were, we were all born there. Okay. We're gonna complete this conversation. Jason, where were you born here in the US? I'm sorry. Were you born here in the U.S., Mary? No, I wasn't. I was born in Europe. Oh, were you born in France? What is the next phrase? Were you born in France? What is the next option? What is the next phrase? Yeah, I was born in... Bruce? Maybe yes. They was Peter. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. were all born there. Okay, because the oh. is oh, were you born in France? And somebody told me I was born in Brussels. That okay. means it. That means it. Mm -hmm. so I will write that one. Then... Maybe no, I from Belgium. I was born in Australia. No, I wasn't. I was born in Europe. No, because I have it here. Uh, I was no I'm from Virgin. No, but because the mm -hmm. sentence is the question is, were you born? So the only answer that I have with born is like this one I was born in Brussels and this one which is plural. Oh. Yeah. So based on that one, the red one is going to be this one. I was born in Brussels. Okay. Um. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. 
Thank you so much. Really, what's the city where you born? What's the city where you born? No, I'm from Belgium. I was. What's the city where you born? Look at this one. No, we were. We were. I yes, they were. We were. I bought them. Really? What, what city were you born in? No, I'm from Belgium. Right. So, so, yeah, because this one makes you think, really? What city were you born? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm from Belgium. Yes, so this one is incorrect. Now I figured it out. This one is incorrect because mm -hmm. were you born in France? No. Where you born in France? Where? I'm from. Know. Mm -hmm. So what is the correct option? Because I... this one here, this one here is, is, is I think I think you told me like yeah, I yeah, yes they were in Brussels. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here we have the correct option, but what about here? Yes, they were we were uh born. Oh no, I'm sorry, because this is plural and I need a singular. I need a singular. No, no I'm from Belgium. Oh, thank you. That was you. Oh, Jesus. It was so okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Right. Yeah. You're ready for the next class, right? You're ready for the next one. Okay, that's good. Uh -huh. Okay, no. I was from Belgium. Uh, I'm from Belgium. Belgium. Uh -huh. Very good. What is next? Were your parents born in Brussels too? No? This is no. Yes, they, yes, they were. Yes, yes. they were. Okay. We were. We were all born there. We were, we were all born there. Okay, very good. Now it takes. Very good. And why did you come to the U.S.? We came here for my father's job. Came here mm -hmm. for my father's job. Oh, I'm sorry. Father's job. Okay. Came here for my father's job. Okay, very good. So, we move here. We move here. We move it here in. We move yes, we moved here. We move in here in two thousand nine. Yes, two thousand nine. Really? How old were you then? I was I was I was sixteen. Was it was it scary? Was it scary? No, it wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay, you know. You know it wasn't very good. Negative. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Oops, it wasn't. Oh. And then we have I love did. I loved it. Okay. Thank you. So this is the way we do it, right? We're gonna have a quick conversation between um let me see Ernesto and um let me see Isabel. Thank you. And Isabel, you are Jason and Ernesto, you are uh, pardon, I'm sorry, Ernesto, you are Jason and Isabel, you are Mary. Ready? Let's begin. Yeah. 
Were you born here in the U.S., Mary? No, I wasn't. I was born in Europe. Oh, were, were you born in France? No, I'm from Belgium. Really? What city were you born in? I was born in Brazil. Were your parents born in Brazil too? Yes, they were. We were all born there. And we did you come to the U.S.? We came here for my father, so. So when did you come? So when did you move here? We moved here in two thousand nine. Really? How old were you came? I was sixteen. Was it scary? No, it wasn't. I love it. I love it. El micrófono, teacher. Thank you. I'm sorry. Don't forget that this is class number 30. It's not bad. Okay. It's class number 13. Because the last one we did it um, yesterday, right? Number 12 was yesterday. So today, just two quick thing. It's class number 13. Thank you so much. Bye. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher.